Okay, hi and welcome to the 2017 Paper 1 Junior Cert Higher Level Question 15. Glad to say it's the last question of this uh, exam paper. So, Question 15, it's worth 5B marks. It's, uh, it's on its own, just a small little tag on the end. It's a tricky one. The three curves A, B and C are shown in the coordinate uh, diagrams below. Two of the curves show a function of X. Uh, put a tick in the correct box to show which curve does not show a function of X and give a reason for your answer. So the 5B scale, if you had a reason, or tick the right box, you got two marks. Just going to check that now against the marking scheme. Um, that's it there, pressure credit C identified as answer. Okay, so you have a one in three chance of getting two marks. Okay, with happy days. And if you're looking at it, you go with the one that looks weirdest, to my mind, is this last one, C. So this first one, okay, is just a, a curve, okay, uh, going down, going up, looks perfectly standard, okay, as X changes, Y changes. In the second curve B, it looks a bit weirder, but you'll notice it's still you know, kind of quadratic like in a sense. Okay, follows on. So B looks, it looks a bit weirder, but not overly weird. Now C does look weird. Going down long, and the curve curls back on itself, a la an Irish road. But um, that's not possible. Okay, for every x value, there's a different y value. There's never more than one y value. Okay, be it linear or whatever. So this curve is is, is odd. Um, so that's our one. Now the reason is you can't have more than one y value. You can see here x is whatever. Now they could have the y value be the same for different x values, but it won't be two y values for an x value. And in neither of the two first ones has that happened. Now something might be fairly tricky in the sense that you know it's a it's hard to get a handle on quadratic geometry in the deep, for a deeper level. But I would hope that, you know, even just guessing, um, you'd be able to at least get the two marks or something like that, even though it is tricky. Okay, and that's it for question 15 and for paper 1. Best of luck and see you hopefully on paper 2. Thank you.